Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play this very beautiful song called Past Lives on the Piano. Alright, give you a preview before we start learning it. It goes like this. All right, you can repeat it, okay, and make your own improvisations afterwards. But anyways, let's go ahead and learn it right now. So melody and chords, breaking it down like this, so it's easy to learn, and also parts, okay? So first part, right hand starts on the E flat, okay? Middle C, C, I'm going to C, is the E flat right here that we start on, okay? So we have two E flats, and another two more E flats, so four E flats, F, F, G, B flat. That's it for the first part, so we break up the lesson to four parts, it's easy to learn. So the first part, let's learn it again, so it goes E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, F, G, B flat. That's it for the right hand. The left hand, we have two E flat major chords, which is E flat, G, B flat, so two of them. Okay, so with these two E flat major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, so chord starts off, and the right hand comes in. And then together. Like that. Alright, let's learn it again, so it goes yum. Together. All right, awesome. Now moving on to the second part. Right hand continues down to the D. Oh, how many Ds? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two E flats. F D D E flat. Okay, that's it for the right hand. A little bit more notes compared to the first part, but anyway, let's learn it again. It goes D D D D D D E flat E flat F D D E flat. Okay, so D, 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 E flat, E flat, F, D, D, E flat. Okay, all right. Left hand, we have two chords. They're B flat major, which is B flat, D, F, and then B diminished, which is uh, B, D, F, A flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So the B diminished is a bit harder to remember, but anyway, just practice the change between the two chords, then you'll get it, no problem. Okay, so anyways, the D and the B flat major together. Together. Like that. Let's learn it again. Together. Together. Like that. Okay. Now moving on to the uh, third part. Right hand goes up to the high B flat G, B flat down to D, back up to B flat G, F. That's it for the third part. Let's learn it again. It goes B flat G, B flat D, B flat G, F. All right, left hand, we have two chords. They are uh, A flat major, which is A flat C, E flat, okay? And then B flat major, which is B flat D, F. So with these two chords in mind, two hands together goes like this. So it goes here, let's get up. Like that. Let's learn it again. So it goes here, let's get up. All right, now moving on to, actually before we do that, back to back, the three parts of front so far, we play like this so you can see how to put it all together so far. Sounds beautiful already. Now moving on to the fourth and last part here. Uh, right hand continues back up to the B flat, G, B flat, that's D, D, E flat, F, F. That's it for the right hand. Let's learn it again. It goes B flat, G, B flat down to D, D, E flat, F, F. All right. Left hand, two chords are A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. And B flat major, B flat, D, F. So the same two chords as the third part. All right. So with that in mind, turns together, goes like this. Chord starts off. Right hand comes in. D and chord together. Like that. Let's learn it again. It goes here. Together. That's it. So back to back, all four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Repeat.
All right, it's awesome. Okay, now after you learn the melody and block chords and repeat it a few times consistently correct, now you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. So left hand you can do octave bass note into arpeggios. Rhythmic patterns. That kind of thing. Okay, right hand you can harmonize it on the chords to make it thicker in texture. So play around, you can be like, do something like this. Yeah, play around and have fun okay so yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this lesson by the way if you want to learn other beautiful songs like this search up your favorite song name followed by amos store in the youtube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself but if you want to learn even more piano from me uh go ahead check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description to check out my piano courses my piano memberships and my other piano services okay so check it out as for now enjoy your time on my channel and see you all next time